They say good things take time, and it appears that Eddie Redmayne and Hannah Bagshaw really believed that. Like so many great relationships, their romance began as a friendship. The pair were close friends for 12 years before falling for one another, getting engaged, getting married, and starting a family. But one question remains, who is the woman that stole Eddie's heart? Eddie Redmayne is one of the world's leading actors who is known for portraying Stephen Hawking in The Theory of Everything. He is more recently known for playing Newt Scamander in the extension of the Harry Potter's film franchise, Fantastic Beasts. Of course, he has also been in The Danish Girl and Les Miserables. You get the idea. He is just one phenomenal actor. But his wife, Hannah Bagshaw, is less well known, except for being known as Eddie's wife, of course. She keeps a relatively low profile despite her husband's fame, but Hannah sports some impressive credentials of her own. She has worked in financial public relations and as an antique dealer. She also has a master's degree in English literature and French from the University of Edinburgh. Now let's get into how this couple began. It was the year 2000 and the actor was attending Eton College where his wife was enrolled in an all-girls boarding school nearby. Bagshaw School held a charity fashion show at Eton and from across the room they caught each other's eye and began talking. This sparked a friendship that would stand the test of time, but eventually Cupid Zero finally shot them. Twelve years later, their friendship eventually turned romantic when Eddie was filming Les Miserables. The actor had finished rehearsals and was about to start shooting a few days after, so he decided to go on a quick break. Before he left to rehearse for the film, he and Hannah went on a sort of date and had a wonderful evening. He couldn't stop thinking about her and decided to bring her with him on his trip. I suddenly said, you don't want to come to Florence with me next week, do you? She said, that's absurd, you don't mean it. I said, yes I do. So our first proper date was in Florence, he said. What a first date, right? Just two years after they began dating, Redmayne popped the big question to Bagshaw over Memorial Day weekend. Although few details were shared, it was apparently a magical evening that sported a stunning engagement ring. We couldn't be happier. It's great that she found me attractive then and still does. It's also wonderful having a shared history and friends, even though we didn't get together for so long, he said. How sweet is that? It was only a few months later that the couple said I do in an intimate winter-themed wedding at a historic manor house. While their small number of friends and family waited to celebrate their nuptials, the bride was nowhere to be found. Although everyone else was really worried she had gotten cold feet, Eddie was relaxed because he knew she'd never been on time for pretty much anything in her life. But ev everyone else was really stressed, but I was kind of relaxed knowing she'd never been on time for pretty much anything in her life. <laughs> Another humorous aspect of their wedding is the inspiration behind their winter wonderland theme. We like the hymn in the bleak midwinter and wanted an excuse to sing that at a wedding. You only get one shot arranging a wedding, so we're doing our best. We've planned this long in advance, so it's the most wonderful thing. I can't wait to be married, the actor said. The two kept the winter theme going for their honeymoon when they went skiing in the Alps. But unfortunately, there wasn't any snow. So it was just an excuse for the couple to take long lunches, drink lots of red wine, and have fondue. It also helped Eddie discover a surprising perk of marriage. We came into LAX yesterday, and when you are married, you can go as a couple up to passport security. Normally, it's quite intimidating. They were much kinder to me when I was with my wife, so it's fun, he said. Well, that's certainly an interesting one. Redmayne and Bagshaw continued to show us what an adorable and supportive couple they are. The actor shared that he had a wonderful personal stylist in the form of his wife. Although this was not within her expertise, she accepted the role for good reason. I'm colorblind, so occasionally I'll go for things that are slightly outlandish and she'll temper me back into the world of taste," he shared. Her input must work because the actor has often topped best dress lists. Hannah was also more than supportive when her husband shared that he had been nominated for an Oscar for The Theory of Everything. She was his first call for the big news. I don't know if any words were actually said. There was just a lot of screaming. She has a proper job and she was like, how am I to go back and do the accounts when I'm so excited, he shared. They just keep getting cuter. When he won that Oscar, he gave a special thanks to his wife and told her how much he loved her. I just want to thank my family and you, Hannah, my wife. I love you so much. We have a new fella coming to share our apartment. Thank you. Bagshaw certainly kept her husband grounded in their first year of marriage when he got a bit too taken in with the craziness of the industry. She was also an absolute saint, according to him, for keeping up with his busy schedule. 
I love married life. It feels surreal. You can't take it for granted because it could be gone in a shot. It's been the most extraordinary whirlwind and it's a ride for both of us. This whole industry is the most joyous, absurd circus. It's great to have someone when you get too immersed in it to say, wait a second, he said. Then in 2015, Eddie and Hannah shared some exciting news. They were expecting their first child. The actor's job during the pregnancy was to keep his wife hydrated. They waited to find out what they were having because they wanted to be surprised. We've got our first book, which is looking at us, and we are staring guiltily as we should be learning how to be parents, but we haven't opened them yet. I was like, maybe we should find out. And my wife's like, we're not finding out. She wears the trousers, he said. Well, at least he knows who runs the house. Then in June of 2016, they welcomed their daughter, Iris Mary Redmayne. The new father revealed that his baby girl arrived two weeks after her due date. Lateness seems to be genetic. Like mother, like daughter, right? Iris appeared in the world and I gave her a stern talking to, he said jokingly. Later that year, Redmayne and Bagshaw took their newborn to her first ever Olympics in Rio de Janeiro. The Fantastic Beasts actor admitted that he always had a fear of flying with children, and that fear heightened when they ended up on the same flight with most of the British Olympic team. I was like, what if she cries lots and then they don't sleep and they blame all of their lack of success on Iris? But she was amazing, he said. Then in 2018, the couple welcomed their second child, son Luke Richard Bagshaw. Yes, you heard right. Their children have different surnames, one from mom and one from dad. In the interest of equality, we love this idea. Though we do wonder if it could get complicated at some point along the way when it comes to traveling. Also, if they have a third child, what surname will they give them? Neither of them has ever confirmed why they've done this, but it does seem to be quite forward thinking. Before you're a parent, you hear people talking about not getting a lot of sleep. Then suddenly you're the guy who's floating in a constant jet lagged sense with an IV of caffeine. We've just about got to that stage when we're beginning to get sleep and remember what that word means. Getting prepped to go back into the trenches, he said. The actor did admit that when it's 3 a.m. and the baby begins to cry, it's exhausting. But when he sees that little smile, his heart breaks a bit and it's totally worth it. As for Iris becoming a big sister, she apparently takes her role seriously. There are occasional moments when he and Hannah are both out of the room and get a glimpse of their daughter entertaining her baby brother. No one makes him laugh as much as she does. Marriage is the most wonderful achievement of them all for me because that has given me this platform to be a dad, the best dad I can be. I also love being married. I feel so settled in my skin. I'm lucky to have the most wonderful, supportive, beautiful wife, he said. Come on, you two, give the rest of us a break. Since having children, Eddie has reflected on how his upbringing compares to his current life in the film industry while raising a family. The actor had quite a stable upbringing and he is endlessly trying to find some stability for his kids. He has found that he and his wife basically have no control over their schedule, especially when he is doing theater work, so he doesn't do plays anymore. The acting world has such a weird rhythm that constantly shifts. The reality of it is that every other night other than Sunday, you're out working. You don't get to see your kids and you're also living like a monk. It's quite intense to put my wife and kids through that, he said. Although he is an Oscar winning actor, he is still a husband and father who has to deal with broken appliances from time to time. Redmayne recounted a story about Hannah reminding him of his household duties while he was at work. In the process of trying to focus on his craft during rehearsals, he received a call from his wife because the dishwasher broke. She begged him to get home as soon as possible to fix it. And being the great husband he is, he did. Like we said earlier, she keeps him grounded. Hannah Bagshaw and Eddie Redmayne could not be a cuter Hollywood couple if they tried. They have managed to be in each other's lives for 22 years and we cannot wait to see them together for many more. We love how humble, sweet, and in love this couple are. Even though it took them 12 years to get together, it's better late than never, right? Let us know in the comments below what your favorite thing about this couple is. This has been Rumor Juice. Be well and be kind.